What's going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another Grey's Anatomy episode. This is going to be Season 2, Episode 22. Two, two, two. Maybe it's a good luck episode. Let's jump in. Come on, everybody. Let's go. <laughs> all right. A good basketball game can have us all on the edge of our seats. That's true. Games are all about the glory, the pain, and the play-by-play. -play. That's true, and too. And then there are the more solitary games. Knitting at the bar, that's cool. kind of weird, though. I'm making a, little a weird. sweater. I can't have a drink. I'm celibate. You mean sober? She means sober. No, celibate. I'm practicing celibacy. My point is I'm celibate, and knitting is good for surgical dexterity, so I'm making a sweater. You celibate? <laughs> I just don't buy it. No more men. No more men. Maybe really? a woman. Every guy I meet turns out to be married. Ooh, ouch. Sorry. <laughs> or Mark. He's broken, George. First he chops off his hair, then he starts hanging out with this Callie. But it, that, that is not a name, Callie. Who is she, anyway? I'm his best friend. I know a Don't couple Callies. Triple word score. But I want her to think she is knitting a sweater because she and I took a celibacy vow, so she's replacing sex with knitting. And so I am knitting pieces of Meredith's sweater so that I can switch them out with hers so that she can really believe she is knitting. How am I supposed to get in your pants if you took a vow of celibacy? Oh, That is a well, very inappropriate thing to say that's... to your doctor. Oh, you know what's inappropriate? Promising sexual favors to a patient in order to get him to live and then backing out. Denny Duquette. Oh. I so never, ever promise. In my head. <laughs> there are those of us who love to Bounce. play games. <laughs> Any game. He's funny. And there are those of us who love to play. Ah. Ooh. Ah. 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 Okay, these Impressive two are kind of adorable. <laughs> Poo in. <laughs> Just trying to have some fun. I'm, I'm, I'm having fun. Let's do this. Are you? Are you having fun? Blonde ambition tour. Oh. Vogue. Bro. Oh, are you kidding? Honey, okay, honey, look, look, look at me. Okay, uh, and, uh, shut up. Boob cones and, and uh, voguing, honey, voguing. Sean Penn, Sean Penn. How do you not know that? How could you not get that? Madonna, right? Bro. See, the whole point of games is that there is a winner, a first place. And second best is <laughs> mediocre. You know, you could sleep with him and then right in the middle start crying. It's painful and humiliating and oh. unbelievably cruel. But apparently... It works. No, I, I can't kick him out. You know, he's Burke's puppy. It's got to be Burke's idea. You've been doing your homework, right? A lot of late nights. How do they even have time to do homework? Look at this. Bedside manner is part of the job, Karev. Late nights won't get you anywhere. You have to figure that out. Seriously? No, Addison. He's a dog. Meredith will check on the way. Oh, I hope he's okay. I'm going to transfer in from Mercy West. Will you wait for me to come home? Yeah. You're taking the class? Well, it's a good refresher course. Should be fine. Just when an ultrasound diagnosed the baby with congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Hello, Molly. I'm Dr. Addison Shepard. You're kind of she... the doctor. Don't threaten the doctor. It doesn't help. Sorry. Is... My husband tells me I have to try not to be such a mother lion because Molly's a grown woman and has her own um... life and everything. But it's not going to be easy on either of you. But I do have a strong record with this surgery. Sir, can I help you find something? Um, is there a doctor... Meredith Gray working today. Oh, is that yes. her dad again? Yeah, you, what's your name? Thatcher. You're Gray. Complicated. Thatcher, honey. We're right here. Oh. Oh. Help it. Oh. Oh, oh well, I knew you would. <laughs> Check on our daughter. Oh. Oh, we just gone on for we just we just peel we just gonna peel back ah, some Dr. more Bill, layers. Hey. No, 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 Child, I said intern. Meredith got a half sister. Okay, what'd you do? Piss off the chief? Yeah, I pissed off the chief. I went and had a baby. Sing the ABCs. I'm covered in mommy, but that does not mean I will be mommy tracked. You're freaking mommy out. <laughs> I just need a surgery. I need a surgery now. So for today, I'm your intern. George made it perfectly clear that I am not in his life anymore. Hold this. That's your chest wall. We took out a small tumor obstructing your airway, which will help with your breathing, but it's... Was that Aunt pure. Jackie? That's Aunt Jackie! I want you to go back in, and I want you to cut out everything that you can, as much right? as you can. Mom, I'm not eating any of that crap in the cafeteria. I mean, we're going to have to order in Thai food or something, because... They were just leaving. Oh. Very nice stuff to get. Thank you, sir. Good job. You put the bean in the hole. I wasn't copying you. Of course not, sir. Done! I'm done! Totally finished first. Done, done. <laughs> okay. Great, I mean it. Watch your grip. 
And your husband is he a doctor grumpy. too? Best friend, you've been the best matchmaker in the past. Oh, the crunch. You know, if you like her, I will like her eventually. I can't escape her. What? All I want to do is forget her. All I want to do is He's escape about her. her. Sorry. <laughs> Who? Uh, oh, Meredith again. This officially becomes your problem, not Ooh. mine. He was a kid. Yes. I just didn't think it would be a kid. A tumor that size. We're doing awake brain surgery on him? Yes, thank you. Want a cow for me? All right, good. Keep going. Awake brain surgery? No, Tumor's thank you. I'm good. Uh, you probably don't have time for girlfriends, right? Andrew probably too busy, right? You usually provide the word, Dr. Bailey. I don't hear you coming up with one. Acetaminophen. Origin of the word? A heck, if I know. I was just gonna... When I assign you to a case of mine, I expect you to give it your full and undivided attention. Her father is Thatcher Gray. Thatcher Gray is also Meredith's father, which means that Molly and Meredith are sisters, but I don't think Meredith even knows Molly exists. Okay. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, thanks. Oh, we can't be at you. She just had major surgery. Tomorrow is my daughter's birthday. Okay. Quick healer, I'm breathing better that, since the surgery. That, that, right, if you try to leave, you are at risk of infection for hemorrhage. <laughs> you really want to risk dropping dead on the street outside the hospital? I kind of like how Karev... So thought scaring her back in the bed was the way to go. Yeah. It worked, didn't it? Yeah. She's lying to her kid. I kind of like yes, his sir. style. Honesty. Especially if people aren't going to listen. I think she's going to freak out. It's not my responsibility. She doesn't care. care. Basics are the key. You need a solid foundation before anything else. Speed and precision are not the most important things. Thanks okay, for hanging really out. I am kicking the chief's ass. <laughs> I can accept rejection. I've got my knitting. Mirror. What the weird thing is, I thought I just saw my father. Oh. Oh my. Surprised you to one last year. God. Then got up and spilled the word a lot before. She is ridiculous, Kids are man. Legend. Hmm. What's happening? Mark that. We've hit the language center. We have to pull back. To wait. Wait, I want you to hold on. That is one, please. Spell omphalocele one more time for me. That is Mark that, please. crazy. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Bailey, are you crying? Oh, <laughs> I've got some in my eye. Oh, girl, I know sometimes you get <laughs> those allergies. Yeah. We're almost done. I'm still a surgeon. I'm just a surgeon with an excess of estrogen. Deal with it. Delusional. Ooh. Delusional. <laughs> Today's final assignment. You may begin. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, okay. Uh, Molly, this is Dr. Uh, this is Meredith. She is going to be continuing your prep work and taking your vitals. Could you imagine? Uh, do you mind if I, um, no, it's fine. Well, I was like, I'm getting used to being poked and prodded. Fifth grade when I met That's my half brother, real. but oh. I have a half sister that I never Thanks. met. Well, my I grandmas and then my mom. Saw her once, but. How old uh, are you? How, how old are you? 22. Eric's 23. Oh, my parents are amazing. I mean, you know how dads can be. Mine's pretty overprotective. But I'm his little girl. You know, I'm the youngest, and my sister's, like, nowhere near ready for marriage. But it was good crying. Like, he was proud of me, you know? No, it's, that's okay. So you book. have a sister? Yeah. Lexi. She's in medical school. Harvard. Do you think my baby's going to be okay? Oh, well, I hope so. I need some bones to break. What? Some bones to break, something to smash. Can you help me with that, please? Oh. Oh. Either of you, you don't see him. He's just, he's just George to you. He's, George O'Malley is sweet and kind Makes and smart world and strong. Stop. How long have y'all been dating? my world stop. She is a tough oh cookie. He's I'm doing done. it with his I'm eyes done. closed. He did it with his eyes closed. They call me Dr. Weber. I'm the chief. Oh my god. That's why god. I'm the chief. That's why I'm chief. So I get to spend my birthday hanging out with Aunt Sue. Perfect. I promise you next year. You name it, it's done. I promise. So this whole lying thing, this is working out for you? Ooh. Excuse me. You don't know what it's like to hold your newborn baby in your arms. 
is to protect her. You think you're protecting her? I am protecting her. Well, I guess you can call it what you want. It's what I do. It doesn't make me a bad doctor. Everyone walks around this place lying. Look, we tell the patient that's dying that there is hope when there is no hope. And you don't get to take that away from me and call it a lesson. I mean, I'm, w I'm with Alec. I would prefer someone give it to me straight. You know? You look just like her. Your mother. Or she knows that her father was married before and had another daughter. Has another daughter. No, Hat is right. He thinks about you a lot. So he abandoned her. She broke him. Because yeah. of her mother. Uh, That's not me. her fault. I, I have to work. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anything with the word cardio, and I knew not to plan on seeing her at all that day. Thatcher, are you aware of what's going on with Alice? And I thought you'd want to know. So, how old is Meredith at this point? 26? It's Dr. Bailey. Remember me? Your operation went really well. We got all that tumor out of there. You know, I have a son, too. And I'm going home right now to tell him that today I met the best speller in Seattle. Aww. Before, when I was asking about Meredith, oh, you know her. Oh, shit. Your, your friend. I used to be a roommate. Oh, wow. O'Malley does kind of um, look like her. She, she look like him, look like Thatcher. Ellis was cold. I mean, I was a coward. I was. I, I left. So her mom blocked him out of her life? She's kind. I mean, she can be a little selfish. You know, she can be... She's flawed, but she's kind. I think the rest of her, I think, uh, I think the rest of that she gets from you. Do, do you know where she is? I think she left already. Aww. He does care. That was, that was nice of him. I met a sister I never knew I had. And I saw my father, which was, uh... You okay? <laughs> I have my knitting. Just have one glass of champagne. And then you drink water for the rest of the night. Because there's nothing tackier than a drunken bride. Mom, I don't... Honey, I've been sick for a long time, and the doctors don't think that I'm going to get better. Someday, you're going to have a baby, and you're going to feel overwhelmed by this little life that you're responsible for. And you're going to think, worry that everything you do is wrong. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret. It doesn't matter, because at the end of the day, all that matters is if your kid is happy. So you're going to feel sad for a little while. You promised me that you won't feel sad for too long. Okay. Thank you. That's sad, you make man. me feel much better. Life is not a spectator sport. Man, this situation. The game is in progress. You know what? Just accept your gift and say thank you. Does this mean I don't get any sexual favors? Sweater instead of sex. Smell it. Yeah, I wore it for three hours, so that is the closest you're going to be getting to this body, mister. Ooh. You want to play some Scrabble, or are you too tired? Do it. Do so, it. Nice work today, huh? You actually had your eyes closed, so how... Um, I was watching you, and you didn't even need the... Old school, yeah. Muscle memory. You want to win? Always go back to the basics. You did say that. Christina, what the hell are you doing? Oh. Being comfortable in my apartment. Get out of here. <laughs> That's messed Change up. The rules. Hello? Shut up. <laughs> she lives there? Live here. Yeah. How? Crazy or anything. I That's just allowed? spent so much time here in the hospital. I'm not, I'm not crazy or anything. Is that even allowed? Play loose and free. Y'all are cute. Oh, yeah. Get it. Kiss her. Kiss her. Kiss her. Yes. Yes. Play as if there's no tomorrow. You know, I don't actually need to see the vet. I really just wanted to sit with Doc. I just want to spend time with my dog. Oh, we finally meet. Is that? Hello. So it's not whether you win or lose. It's how you play the game. Is that right? Chris O'Donnell? Is that Robin? I 
love this show so much i cannot believe that storyline with meredith's dad and her half sister and her other half sister that she never even seen before and and all of this stuff it's crazy i feel like every episode i learned something new and i absolutely love it and i love i love how the last episode i'm like alex dude you're being a dick i need you to get better and then this episode i'm like alex you're a dick and i appreciate it i like that about you (laughs) i love this show let me know what y'all thought about this episode i'll see you on the next one bye